What's up guys and welcome back to yet another video of Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate and today we'll be facing up against the Burst Hammer Wyvern Uragon. Now before we jump into the element weakness and other things, let's give an introduction to the Cleft Chin Menace Uragon. Now Uragon debuted all the way back in Monster Hunter Tri in 2009 in Japan and was shortly released to other countries in 2010. Being a third generation monster, Uragon had countless subspecies stretching from Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate all the way to the Explore series. In Frontier, he has a special mechanic that enables him to lock into place to the ground and spin rapidly in place causing a large suction vortex that can grab players to him and do chain damage and can easily kill hunters. His latest appearance was in Monster Hunter World, and speaking of World, the Uragon actually rivals mostly with Lava Seoth for territory control in the Elder Recess in the New World. Now with his introduction out of the way, let's talk about his elemental weakness. Now he is weak to two elements, which are Water and Dragon, Water being the most effective against him, and Dragon being the second most effective. I would suggest water element based weapons because they are quicker to be accessible than dragon element based weapons. You can get water element based weapons from Royal Ludroth, Daimyo Hermitor, Nibble Snarf, and lastly, Mazitsune. Do note that there will be more water element based monsters later in the game, and the first appearances of dragon element monsters will appear in the low rank 6 star quests. Next, let's talk about the armor and the skills it comes with. The Yurgon Blade Master armor comes with two skills, which are Negate Bleeding and Punishing Draw. These skills are pretty decent overall, and I will go into detail on what these skills do and how they work. Negate Bleeding is self-explanatory and gives you immunity to bleeding. An example of a monster with bleeding is Serigios. Punishing Draw, on the other hand, grants you the ability to stun monsters with a draw attack from cutting weapons, which in simple terms is when your weapon is sheathed and you go for the first swing or hit, that is considered a draw attack. Now let's move on to his breakable parts and weak points. Firstly, there are only three breakable parts and severable parts on the Uragon, the head, back, and tail. The tail can be broken once and then severed the next time completely. As for weak points, the Uragon's stomach is a great point for doing damage alongside the tail. But interestingly enough, if you break the chin off, you will be able to do now more damage on the head than you would on the stomach. As long as you break the chin and inflict damage on his broken chin. If you aren't comfortable on taking on his chin, I strongly suggest just going for the legs since the legs have a decently low stagger value and is a good spot for avoiding his attacks mostly. As for spawn and rest locations for Yorgon and Volcano, he spawns in Area 6 and rests in Area 6. If I'm correct, but when he spawns in Area 6 and you don't get to him in time, he will travel to Area 5. He also moves in other areas in Volcano as well. Lastly, I'm using a level 1 Silverwing Greatsword that can be farmed from Valstrax and it comes with 160 attack damage, 45 dragon element damage, a chunk of white sharpness and 0% affinity, and only one jewel slot. Now before I go, I want to give a huge shout out to the Monster Hunter wiki community and the Monster Hunter Reddit for allowing me to put my content out. And I know you guys are really close in the wiki. We talk to each other and all that. I know the Reddit, I'm a little distance and I'm, I apologize for that. Uh, just, you know, work has been busy and stuff. So I know I made a Monster Hunter Explore video and I will continue on doing Explore videos. I'm not too sure on what monster I might do next, but I know more Monster Hunter Explore videos are coming up because someone asked if I was going to do that and I... You know, I will do more Monster Hunter Explore videos on the side of doing more Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate videos. So anyways, thank you to my subscribers and the people that are viewing this video. I thank you guys so much. It's really humbling. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace.